Okay, boys and girls, today we're going to be learning some vocabulary words. Some words that maybe you haven't heard of before, but maybe you have. Right, so the first word I want to show you is this word. This word right here is the word community. Can you say that with me? Community. community. We are really excited this year to implement uh, the new Pinellas Vocabulary Project Revise. We're calling it the PVPR um, because we're bringing back a, a great um, program that we had in previous years um, and it was um, tied to a reading series that we no longer have. So we're bringing it back in, in a little different way. Um, so what it involves is students working with words because we know how important vocabulary is to the success uh, for children not only in taking tests um, but in becoming lifelong learner learners. So the PVPR is um, a series of uh, activities and strategies that teachers can teach using identified words. So there was a team um, that had from science and reading and math and social studies that met together and identified words that were important to learn um, in content areas, in academic vocabulary, and what we call tier two words, which are just really nice words that kids should be able to understand when they read and, and when they write. Okay, would you turn to the person sitting right next to you and tell them, what do you know about that word community? What do you know about it? Can you talk right here? Right here, you can talk right here. Okay, so what do you know about the word community? Um, like, uh, um, some water, something. Okay, what do you know about the word community? anything about it. Do you know anything about the word community? Never heard of it? Have you guys heard of the word community? What is it? What do you know about it? Boys and girls, community means a group of people who live in the same area or who have, who like the same things, right? So that's a community. You all are a community because you are all in first grade. You're in a first grade community, right? So when you're in a community, you all are together because you're in the same place or because you like the same thing. Can you guys do this with me and say community? Let's go. Community. community. Let's do it again. Community. community. Right. That means that you're all together because you live in the same place or because you like the same things. All right, so a community might be something like first grade community. You guys all go to Dunedin Elementary, so you're in the Dunedin Elementary community, right? How many of you live in a house or an apartment or somewhere where there's other people around you? Thumbs up if you live somewhere where there's other people around you. A lot of you do. Okay, that's your community. <gasps> do you know what city you live in? Anybody know what city you live in? What do you live in? Clearwater. Yeah, you live in the Clearwater community or the Dunedin community. That's the group of people that you live with. Okay, so community. Do the gesture with me. Let's help remember. Community. community. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell I'm going to say some names of some communities. If you think that's a community that it's a group of people that have the same likes or live together, I want you to high five your partner. Okay, go ahead and high five your partner. Let me see what that looks like. You got two partners, so you're going to go like that. Okay, cool. Okay, ready? Okay, listen. So if this is a community. I want you to high five your partner. You ready? Okay, here's the first one. A soccer team. Is that a community? High five your partner if you think that's a community. I saw high fives. Yeah, if you're a member of a soccer team, then you're in a community of soccer players. I see some of you nodding your head. Awesome. All right, here's another one. 
your neighborhood. If you think that's a community, your neighborhood, where you live, high five your partner. Okay. What do you think? What do you think? Community, where you live. Are there people around you that live around you? Okay, high five your partner. Yay! That's a, show me the gesture, community. All right, here's the next one. Grocery store. Oh, nobody is high-fiving their partner. That's not a community, is it? It's a store, right? Okay, here's another one. Ice cream cone. No, nobody is high-fiving. Okay, here's the last one. You ready? Dunedin Elementary. Is that a community? Yeah, you guys are a member of that community. Very nice. Okay, so community. What I want you to do now is in number one, get your pencil and your clipboard out. Right? Okay. In this first box, I want you to draw yourself really quick. And when I mean draw yourself really quick, this is what I mean. Draw your head. Okay, this is me. See how quick I'm doing this? Okay, that's me. Okay, draw yourself in this first box really quick. Oh, look how quick you're going. You don't have to say done because I can look down with a bird's eye view and I can see who's done. Bird's eye view means I can look down on you. Oh, okay, quick, quick. There you are. There, oh, there you are. There you are. Yeah. Okay, now, that's you. What community are you in? What group do you belong to? Right? So there you are. I want you to put yourself in a community. Like, where, what do you belong to? So watch me. This is my community right here. And this is my community is school. All right? So number one, you got yourself there. Now draw your community. So if your community is school, you could do the same one as me. Maybe you belong to a soccer team or a football team. Maybe you want to draw a football or a baseball. Maybe you belong to a dance community, right? I don't know. So you can draw the buildings, but you got to do it fast, fast. Okay, go. Number one, draw your community. Oh, I see people. It looks like they're drawing other people like in school. Ooh, I see a baseball community. Oh, up, up, up. And if you want to write the name of your community at the top, you can do that. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's finish up in five, four, three, two, one. Hold up your boards. Let me see your community. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Look at that. <gasps> nice work. Nice work. Nice work. Okay, really quick, turn and tell your partner what community are you in? Tell your partner. What's your community? You're in a community at school too, right? You're with a lot of people. What's your community? Yours is school too. Put your pencil back in the top of your clipboard, just like this, and put it back down. We're going to learn another word. But before we do, show me community. What is the gesture for community? Show me. What, is, what does that look like? What do we do when we said community? Everybody do it. Community. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, so we're going to go on to a new word. This is the word. Ooh, look at this word. This word is magnify, right? So if we magnify something, we make it bigger. Can you do that with me? 
bigger. Okay, so when we magnify something, we make it bigger, bigger right? Okay, so I used to be a first grade teacher, just like Miss Bacon. And do you know what happened? One time we went outside and we were looking around at our PE field and we found this great big cricket. A cricket is an insect. We found this great big cricket. And my boys and girls said, ooh, look at that. And I said, yeah. And they said, can we bring it in and put it on the dock camera? So that's what we did. We brought the cricket in, we put it on the dock camera, and we magnified it. We made it bigger. bigger. Exactly. So when we looked at it and we magnified it, we could see all of its eyes and we could see its legs because it was so much bigger. Okay, so what's something you might want to magnify and look at bigger? Tell your partner, what's something you would like to magnify? Okay, back to me. All right, boys and girls, so if you want to see something bigger, right, it means you could see it close up. You could magnify it and see it close up with your eyes. So I heard a lot of people say they would like to see insects close up. They would like to magnify them like a butterfly. If you magnified a butterfly, you could see the wings really, really closely, right? That would be so cool to do that. Okay, so I want you to think about this. If you are going to magnify, show me magnify. What does that look like, magnify? Show me, yeah, magnify. Everybody do it, magnify. Say the word, magnify. So if you are going to magnify an insect's leg, what would it look like? An insect's leg. Thinking about that? Okay, so now I want you to go back to box number two. And I want you to draw what you think a magnified insect leg might look like. Okay, number two, draw what you think an insect leg that's been magnified would look like. Okay, go ahead and draw a number two. Would it look really, really tiny or would it look really, really big? if it was magnified. Okay, box number two. Oh my goodness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my goodness. That would scare me to see that leg that big. Oh my gosh, you guys are so quick at these drawings too. What would a magnified insect leg look like? We're going to be done in five, four, Three, two, one. Hold up your clipboards. Let me see. A magnified insect leg. Oh, oh my goodness. Okay, put your clipboards down. I want to show you. This is a real life magnified insect leg. Okay, if you look over on the look at that that's what happens when you magnify you make bigger an insect like take a look at that are you looking at it how big is that look at that that's really big right it's been magnified okay now in box number three i want you to draw an insect leg that's been magnified. Okay, box number three. That's what it looks like. Can you change your drawing to three? That's what a magnified insect leg looks like. See if you can draw that. We've identified the words for teachers. There's up to 10 a week in all content areas as words that would be important to teach. Um, so now what we're in the process of doing is building activities that teachers can use to work with these words. 
We're using the six-step Marzano um, process for teaching vocabulary where children are um, introduced to the word using an explanation or a definition, uh, maybe attach a gesture to it or a, an illustration to, to the word. We're asking children to um, re-state um, the definition in their own words or maybe in a picture. Um, and then we're asking them to interact with the word with each other and then do um, games or interactions with the words. Number three, there's a magnified insect leg. Some of you are putting the head, oh, look at that. Okay, oh my goodness, look how big that is. Can you draw another one right here? Great big magnified insect leg. One, two, three, everybody hold up your magnified insect leg now. Let me see it. Oh my gosh, they're so much bigger now. Very nice. Okay, clipboard down. This is the word fair. Can you say that with me? Fair. fair. Tell your partner, what do you know about that word fair? What do you know about fair? What's that mean? Okay, can you talk to your partner? What does fair mean? What do you know about the word fair? Okay, back to me, guys. I know this is hard to see. Let me put it up here on the dot camera. I heard a lot of you talking about the word fair as a place you would go. That's a lot of fun. Wiggle your fingers in the air if you've ever been to a fair. Lots of you have been to a fair. When you go to a fair, put your hands down, you might see rides that you go on. Like you might see a merry-go-round or you might see a Ferris wheel and you go on a ride and maybe you get food to eat at a fair, right? So a fair can be a place that you go that's a whole lot of fun that you ride on rides and you eat food. Like Disney. Yeah, like Disney is kind of like a fair. So fair, oh, can you wiggle your hands like this? Fair. Okay, say it with me. Go. Fair. Okay, put your clipboards down. Put your clipboards down. Do you know what? There's another kind of fair too. Have you ever heard of anybody say this? That's not fair. Like the other day at home, my two daughters were trying to um, have a snack. And there were three cookies left. And my daughter Maddie said, I want two cookies. And my other daughter Andrea said, well, that's not fair. I only get one cookie. So sometimes fair means when you feel like things aren't equal or they're not the same or somebody else gets something that you don't get, you might say, that's not fair. So fair is tricky because it could be this kind of fair where somebody gets something that maybe you want or it could be the kind of fair where you go to a fair and you ride on rides and you get food, okay? So we're gonna have two gestures. This kind of fair means when you go on rides. Okay, everybody do it with me. Fair, everybody say it with me. Fair, or this is the kind of fair. Fair, do that with me. Fair, so we've got fair and we've got fair. Okay, very good, okay, so I'm gonna give, I'm gonna tell you about a time when and I want you to show me, is this a time when you would be at the fair or would this be something that's not fair? Okay, ready? Okay, riding on the Ferris wheel. Okay, very good. Okay. Mm -hmm. Eating a funnel cake.
your neighbor getting a new bike and you didn't? Your friend getting dessert at lunch, but you didn't get dessert. Okay. Riding on the Ferris wheel. Okay, very good. Awesome. So there's two meanings of fair. That one's a little bit tricky. All right, so here's the piece of paper that I'm going to give you. It looks like this, right? And this is where you ought to remember how to use your clipboard. So you're going to put it right like this. Got it? Okay, I did yours for you. Okay, so on your clipboard, here we go. One more thing. Okay, as soon as you get your paper, could you put your name, like, whoop, I got two of them. Could you hand one back back behind you to your friend behind you? Okay, can you take one and hand one to your friend behind you? Now, I want everybody to just flip your bodies so that you can see the smart board. There's six, six steps that go with the PV, PVPR. The, the first three we do in order. And then the last three where children are interacting with the word and playing games with the words, they're in no particular order. We're just saying that once you teach the word, don't forget to continue to work with it and interact with it. So the PVPR um, isn't a, um, something that you hold in your hand. Uh, the words are on eLearn under the PVPR um, folder. You'll find the words on a spreadsheet for each grade identified by week. And then inside the folder are particular activities that you could then choose to do with the words. First box, put your finger on it. Put your finger on the box on your clipboard. Awesome. All right, this is what it says. It says, write the word fair. Fair. What's that word? Fair. 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 Okay, so see this line? I want you to write the word fair, okay? Everybody go. First make an F on the line. Nice. Okay, do you have A next? I R. Beautiful. You guys are very quick at this work. Fair. All right. Show me the gesture for the word fair. What's fair? Show me one of the gestures for fair. Mm -hmm. What did we do when we said fair? Ah, oh, it could be. Mm -hmm. Or what's the other one? Yay! Let's all do the happy fair. Happy fair. Do that one. Yay! Yay! Okay. What about mm? I want something somebody else has. Mad face. Mad face. Very good. Okay. All right. Box two. I'm going to read this to you, and we're going to see what kind of fair is this. Treating people in a way that is right for them and makes them feel good is fair. What kind of fair is that? Is that happy fair? Where you go to a place, or is it? What do you think? Yeah, I see some people doing this. I see some people doing this. So if we're treating people in a way that's right for them and makes them feel good, are we going somewhere, or is it how we're treating somebody? It's how we treat. It's how we're treating somebody. So it's not the place. It's this. Okay? All right, so let's look at this one. Box three, put your finger there. It was fair at school when? What's something that's fair at school? Hmm. Yeah. When everybody gets to play on the playground. When Everybody gets to play on the playground. It's fair. Can you think of another time when it's fair? 
Yeah. Um, the like fair that you go to and on ride. Okay, so that would be another kind of fair that you go to when you go on a ride. But what's the time at school when things would be fair? Yes. So when everybody gets to go where? A water park. Oh, it would be fair if not one of you got to go to a water park, but everybody got to go to a water park. That wouldn't be at school, but that would be fair, right? All right, raise your hand if everybody in here gets to go to lunch. Go raise your hand if you go to lunch. Everybody's hand is up. That's fair. Mrs. Bacon says some of you don't get to go to lunch. Some of you have to say, stay here. Does she ever say that? No. No, that wouldn't be fair, would it? No. All right, so I want you in this box to draw the kind of fair that's a place that you go. So what could you draw there? What would you see at a fair that would be a place that you go? Okay, with your pencil in that box. Uh, in, the, in this box right here. Last box. What would you see at a fair as a place that you would go? Ride. Yes. There would be a lot of rides there. Okay, lots of people drawing the Ferris wheel. Merry go round. What would be something you would see at a fair? Show your partner your picture. Uh, Ferris wheels. Two Ferris wheels. Okay, she wants to see your picture. Can you show your partner your picture? Um, oh, nice. It's really going to be up to the teacher to decide um, how they want their kids to work with the words, how they want to teach the words, and then um, changing it up from time to time. So what's different is in our old project, we said on Monday, do this. On Tuesday, do a graphic organizer. On Wednesday, ask questions. We're not saying that anymore. We're leaving that up to you, the teacher, to decide how you want to interact with the words.